still up there today. As you can see, again, the traffic is moving. The chariots in the sky, traffic roaming and going to and fro in the earth, man. The eyes of the Lord are roaming, going to and fro in the earth to see whose heart is complete towards Him. And um, the eyes of the Lord in Amos is upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom. And I think that's Amos chapters 9 2, verse 8, if I'm not mistaken. And also Zechariah's chapters 5 and 4. The chariots of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord are. Is that over there too? No, that's, that's definitely a chariot over there. So, uh, as we know, as we know, our King, the Lord's up there. Indisputable. And they know that also in the capital, they had a, a conference in the capital about the chariots that you just cannot pigeonhole them, the way they maneuver, the way they maneuver, the speed is and the velocity of them, no human can be inside of them. So, um, yeah, they've been seen all around the world, man, but um, they're always up there, man, whether you see them, whether they're cloaked or not, and they're appearing even more and more frequently and more regularly. To the man next door <laughs> that's just a figure of speech to the man next door <laughs> they've even seen them too whether they want to be in denial about that or not but you know even Tariq Nasheed was saying in one of his videos that um about the technology of this <laughs> of some people that phone into his show with janky phones he just made a I think it was he was saying it in, in jest and in sarcasm but just goes to show <laughs> he said um the word that he said was you can't be trying to be phoning up here with janky phones and we're seeing all this technology uh, <laughs> he said the word all the, and we've got flying saucers up there in the sky flying saucers in other words chariots of the most high that, or the eyes of the lord or angels otherwise known as angels or unidentified flying Unidentified flying objects or UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, known in many terms, but he called them flying saucers, which was the old term that E that the E's, E's gave them. So he's probably seen them too, <laughs> to say something like that. And we got fly using these janky phones, phoning up the show, and you got flying saucers flying about, <laughs> flying all around the place. So he's seen them too, man. So everybody had their chance. You've all had your chance, and that was um the one that's the. Right, I've just turned the phone on a couple minutes now, and f and three chariots just flew over the head. I don't know what this. What's all? Am I <laughs> the area that I live in? Is there some kind of pothole over the house? One brother made a suggestion. Not pothole. Um, wormhole. One brother made a suggestion when I mentioned to him, I was seeing him so frequently. This is when I just came into the truth. Or I wasn't even in the truth actually, I was still coming to the camp and standing at the side. Technically I wasn't in the truth, but I was seeing him all the time, man. Just randomly keep seeing him, keep seeing him, keep seeing him. Now I don't talk so much about him to the brothers, you know. I don't just keep talking about him every time I see a chariot and I just think it's old news now. But I used to I used to do that. Brothers couldn't understand how come I was keep seeing them. But what the suggestion one brother said, how come I was keep seeing them so frequently? And one brother said, maybe you got the, got a wormhole over your house, a wormhole. Oh, there's another one. And it hasn't slowed down. Me keep seeing the chariots has not slowed down. There's times where you just see them all the time, the traffic, it's just like being bird's eye view above um, a spaghetti junction, dual carriageways or dual motorways. <laughs> it's just like that over this house, man, so. 
so beautiful thing we'll play this DR washing machine on this clear night especially when it's a clear night but it doesn't even matter whether it's a clear night or not there was up there and one, of, and one of the biggest one I've seen talking about clear nights one of the biggest chariots I've seen was on a cloudy night and it wasn't even quite night but it was cloudy and it was behind the clouds and all I saw was a green pulsating flying saucer <laughs> some people some people like to name them flying saucer it was green pulsating and it wasn't no little orb I even had to jump back that's how it was a big it was what some people might call a mother ship I call them father ships though because we ain't into that matriarchal bullshit but he sort of into that matriarchy calling everything she the titanic she and all their warships they name them she what's all that matriarch talk about that feminism talk so it was a father ship it was above this house and it wasn't no small little orb and when I looked out the window I just see it go boom, just like when you see them explaining it on them UFO hunters or ancient aliens documentaries it was just like that it was like it was just over the house and it, was, it wasn't no small thing it was no little light it was a big thing and it just as I looked at it behind the cloud I saw the movement behind the cloud cloaking just beneath uh, above the cloud and it just went phew, dust out and I will never forget that so yeah man we <laughs> we talk about chariots man there's some seriously big ones up there too I mean they're all big probably but now they're, now they're actually they're not all big some of them can make themselves really really small man you know but obviously they're big enough to to house human sized angels which are not small around seven feet tall as uh, according to um Norman Bigwood those angels are around seven foot to nine foot tall black and he said black really black dark the woman said dark no black really black so them are black people so called black people with bushy hair you know big bushy hair you know like short afros you know, look, they look like I'm um, them Dragon Balls now. The one actually, the one I've got on one of my videos uh, about angels, uh, Hebrews chapters 13 and 1 and 2. Be careful, some have entertained angels unawares. The angel, he had a grey afro. He was a grey afro. Afro. He was a, he was sitting among the football stadium, sitting right among the the crowd unbeknown to a lot of those people at the football stadium and he just had grey it was a grey afro I kid you not you've seen it you've probably seen the video so these angels look just like and he looked just like a black man and I could say to I could say he looked like some of the brothers what we see he actually looked like some of the brothers what we see he had that bushy afro he looked he fit. He fitted in. He did kind of fit in, and they can do that too. They can do that. They can fit in there. They can be amongst the crowd, and the crowd wouldn't even know that they're they're amongst them. They can dress how they want. They can look how they want to look. You know, just to blend in among the crowd, man. So yeah, giving all praises to you, about Shimon Shai, Isaiah sixty six. Talks about the chariots, uh, verse 17. You know, they're in the, they're in the hundreds and f hundreds and thousands and thousands of angels. Many scriptures on the, the chariots. But yeah, enough said. I'm going to chill. I'm going to go back and chill. As a matter of fact, I'm going to con continue to be out here for a little while. I'm just breathe and meditate and think on all the beautiful things and that the most size. You know, um, Romans. Oh, there you go. There you go. A chariot beaming up. Oh, there you have it, Occam. Chariot beaming up. Can you see it? And then you're going to see it fade away. Right? It's right there. Right there. You saw it. The chariot came and beamed up. Slap, bam. Wallop on. 
difficult on the video for your eyes only and it's not only for my eyes this time it was for your eyes too you saw it man so i take that as a i feel blessed let me just say that i feel blessed you give me that visual and for you brethren that may also be visual a lot of the, a lot of the prophets were visual and they visualized things they saw into the future Yahweh why hold shy Yahweh Yahweh gave them visions he gave them prophecies and dreams all for the purpose of bringing this truth to the elect enough said Akim enough said we bear witness to these to these um, angels angels UAPs unidentified flying objects unidentified aerial phenomenon UFO chariots I'm gonna just call them angels though. That's because that's what they are. Enough said Akim. We bear witness. And no, we're not um we're we're not in any way shocked. We've seen them millions of times, man. The heathens are shocked about these things. Isaiah chapters ten and verse two. You understand? But we're not in any way shape or form but we give glory to Yahweh we know the future is bright for us we are not dismayed but we are in giving praises to Yahweh so Shalom until the next one Akim no doubt I'm going to see more but I'm not going to keep filming all of them we just saw that one slap bam wallop right in the middle of the camera in this nice cool easy breezy night Clear night. So, until the next one, we out.